It's a revolutionary way to reconstruct breasts after a mastectomy, and the deep flap procedure just got better thanks to a local group of plastic surgeons. The night team's Leslie Mouton reports on their breakthrough study just published in the Journal of the American Society of Plastic Surgeons. Dr. Peter Ledoux is a plastic surgeon with PRMA, one of the largest plastic surgery groups in the country, specializing in the deep flap procedure for breast reconstruction. The breast is mostly fat with some breast tissue, so if we can put a block of fat and skin up there and reconstruct with that, it's, it's much more natural and long-lasting. It lasts forever. Unlike the tram flap, which takes part of a patient's stomach muscle, DEEP leaves the muscle intact and transfers blood vessels to create living, breathing breasts. But sometimes there can be complications. We found that almost all the time there's enough artery, arterial inflow, there's enough blood getting into the flap. But sometimes, because of the venous anatomy, there's not enough blood getting out. So the flap gets congested. And when there's not enough blood circulation, the flap turns purple and can die. It happens in 3 to 5% of cases, and for those patients, it means an additional two, sometimes three surgeries. And that's devastating for patients. We try to get this done uh, at one sitting, the same time as the mastectomy, do the reconstruction. So it really is a setback. So PRMA set out to find a solution. They conducted a study of 1,600 deep flap surgeries and found they could save the flap by removing an extra superficial vein. If the flap gets congested, we'll hook up one of those superficial veins to help get the blood out of the flap so it remains healthy. The procedure worked in 99% of the cases studied, a breakthrough for the surgeons and a relief for the women who will undergo deep flap reconstructive surgery. Leslie Mouton, KSAT 12 News.